Hey everybody, welcome back to another X4 video. Today we're going to talk about one of the new commands that were, was added for ships in the 4.0 beta, and that is the mimic command. Now at first I really had no idea what this command did, I mean it just said mimic. I mean obviously that kind of says that it will do whatever the commander is doing, but you know, is that true really? And what is this command actually good for? So we're going to get into that right now. First and foremost, Mimic is good for organization. So one of the most common ways of using it is to organize your, like a mining fleet. So let's take a look here. We have a, a drill in Argon Prime. This is, uh, let's see. He is mining ore. So 136 is mining ore. Silicon. Ore. Okay, so we have two ore miners here. Let's do a mimic. So you mimic the commander's actions. And they will create a fleet. Now, basically, what's going to happen here... Let's take, we'll do another one real quick. So this is, a, this is a silicon. We'll mimic with the other silicon miner. Create a fleet. Now, normally, this will, uh, you would do this with new ships. So it's good to start out with new ships. As new ships come along, you can add them with the mimic command to these other fleets. Okay, we have ore here. And we'll add them with the mimic command. And is that all we have in Argon Prime with miners? Let's see. Yep, the rest are Grand Exchange. Okay. So now we have these two fleets. What basically happens here is the lead command ships uh, be, default behavior gets passed down to the subordinates. So these ships will all take on the the behavior of the uh, cap, well, the, the lead ship. So if we take a look at information here, they are subordinate. Their current orders mine resources and gather resources in Argon Prime. So if we had a new drill, all we would do is assign it to this fleet with the mimic order and it would automatically get the behavior of the lead ship. So this is good for getting them out of your unassigned ships and into fleets that we can then rename. So we can make this the uh, Argon Prime Ore Miners. And then we can make this one the Argon Prime silicon miners. I'm actually not 100% sure if the type of mineral matters in the mimic, but I've just been assuming it does, so I've been splitting them up. So now we just, if you want more silicon miners, you just make a mining ship and add it to the appropriate fleet, and you're done. So it's great for making mining fleets. Now, trading fleets is another story. One thing to, to know, and this goes for mining ships too, is that it doesn't give any ad, unearned behaviors. So I happen to have two Mercuries here that both have two star pilots. And they so they can distribute wares. If I had a one star pilot here, mimicking the lead ship would not suddenly give it two, basically ability, access to two star tasks. So they have to both be in a, uh, have the appropriate prerequisites. So we're going to make a little fleet here. We're going to mimic commander's behavior. And let's look at, set the commander's behavior here. Back to distribute wares. Okay. So we have this fleet here. Let's take a look at the information. All right, you can see the current order, mimic commander's behavior, command free trading, searching for trade. So this is a subordinate ship. So it is also distributing wares now. 
So it's just a good, it's just an easy way to start organizing your ships. But again, it doesn't magically let uh, it, it do things it normally couldn't. So I have an auto trader that three stars, if I assign, if I did this with that and the pilot did not have three stars, it would just follow the ship around. I experimented with this. That's all it ever did was follow the ship around. It's not suddenly an auto trader. On the military side of things, it's not as useful because there are plenty of military commands already. But, for example, if I assigned my Minotaur Raider here to a patrol and then assigned another ship to mimic it, it would go on patrol. It wouldn't necessarily be in a uh, formation with the lead ship. It just gets the behavior from the lead ship. So they'd both be on patrol in Argon Prime, but they'd be doing their own thing. And that is pretty much how the Mimic command works. It is great for organization. It doesn't, however, give any kind of magic abilities that it didn't that ships didn't have access to before. But it'll help you take care of all these unassigned ships and you know just make things a little neater and easier as you start to build out your fleet. You can just add them to uh, a fleet and they will do what they do. So that is the Mimic command. I hope you found this useful. And I hope everything's going well. We'll talk to you later.